The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us. We have the Dow Industrials up 51, NASDAQ up 23, S&P's up 4.5, gold contract up $10.60, trading at 1418. You want to ride a roller coaster, folks? <laughs> Jump on that train, man. <laughs> You're going to get a good one. Happy, happy 4th of July, man. That's right. <laughs> Fireworks. Silver, silver up 13 cents, fifteen dollars twenty nine cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up eighty one cents. That got slammed yesterday, down two sure and a half did. dollars. Has yeah. volume, eight hundred and eighty thousand contracts on the way down yesterday. Notes and bonds, guess what? Consistency, you got it. Higher price, lower yield. Ten year up five ticks, one twenty eight oh nine. Thirty year up a half a point, one fifty six nineteen. King dollar, king dollar down forty four ticks, trading ninety six two thirty. The euro is trading at one twelve. The yen is at one oh seven and a half. And the pound is trading out at 125 to 1 US dollar. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think of swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Outstanding program here. Every trading day, folks, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. You want to understand the option market, option strategies, defined risk, futures. Great program, 11 to 12. If you haven't test driven yet the Think of Swim platform, just right as you're TFN in, hit that banner, bring it up. Outstanding platform. You can Trade with paper money, follow Kevin and his team every trading day. Kevin Hanks, happy fourth, man. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Happy fourth to you guys. And going to enjoy a nice holiday here. Half trading day today. Make sure everyone knows it should be a little interesting because even though it's, you know, holiday tomorrow, we've got payrolls on oh, Friday. Yeah. So a lot of data this morning, and then we've got non farm payrolls on Friday. So, uh, you know, not. You know, a, a reason not, you know, to take your eyes off the market, but you, everyone should be keeping one eye on the market, made really for an outlier, right? I mean, we got the ADP report today. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, a little bit of a miss, 102,000 jobs. Uh, to break it down, basically, it was, for the, for the positive, it was education and health services up 55,000, but construction jobs down 18,000. That's yeah. what cut into that number a little bit. But just everyone remember, this number, this ADP report, this doesn't add in any government jobs, and you may see some census hiring yeah. in popping up in this number. So don't necessarily think because this one's light that the payroll number on Friday is going to be light. It's not necessarily true this time. You know, it's wild, Kevin. You know, even though all three of us, I suspect, don't think there's going to be a half a point rate cut. But... I'm thinking about how we're coming into Friday, right? And what happens Friday, folks, is, you know, Kevin and Tommy and I were talking about this yesterday, that if, there's, if you knew that how many people were going to be in, you, you, your probability goes much higher if there's not a lot of people in and you just want to run the market. You know, when I say just, it's, it's a collective effort. It's not like something that people do on purpose. They just said, hey, if it's going, it's going. And I was thinking, I says, you know what? If you really come in with a really bad job number, and then the market says, oh, no, they're going to go down a half a point, and this thing will just take off like beyond belief. It'll be like, right. oh. <laughs> I mean, so looking at the 10-year now where it is, I mean, this, you know, this number is not just showing, you know, anytime there's any weakness in this market, they just fly for bonds. They do. To be looking at a 10-year 194 right now, that is uh, telling you that there's a rate cut in the near future we have the chart up man it's pretty this, amazing this you know year, i mean yeah. it just it is it doesn't stop right we had a 193 handle i think at one point yeah. briefly but yeah sitting 1.946 man on the 10 and, and as we're talking man they're nailing it they I are mean, this, this is this is coming we're out right near the lows here. it's only 10 a.m we'll see what happens man yeah a little one, bit of weakness in the adp a little bit higher number in terms of international trade the trade deficit why is that? Why were they expecting 53.4 billion came in negative 55? China's trade deficit is creeping higher for the last, you know, since it hit a low in March, it's creeping higher. Yeah. And, you know, we'll see. It was interesting yesterday, Kevin. 
I was on the air in the afternoon when gold stopped running. I'm saying, what is going on? And, you know, I'm not quite sure whether it was, you know, the, the European Central Bank saying, okay, Christine Lagarde is going to be the, you know, next uh, chair of the European Central Bank. Or, oh, because simultaneously, then simultaneously, they came out with the two new Fed names. Do you know what I mean? It's like, either way, right. it looks like money's going to be easier. You know, I mean, Here's my question that I have for you, Tom, because you've been watching gold a lot longer and a lot closer than I do. Is this? Are these moves coming on big volume or much lighter historical volume? No, it's big. Someone's. It's been big for a while. It's been big for a good seven or eight weeks, man. So there you go. I yeah. mean, that, that that's telling you with conviction. It is, and you know. What happens, you know, folks, is that gold is such a small market. You t I mean, I don't think people understand how small it is. You're like, all you need is a couple of those funds in Chicago or New York to decide that, okay, man, I'm going to put some money in gold, and you can really get some big action. I mean, you know, so, you know, it's 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 intriguing. There's no doubt, man. And they were pushing it yesterday, man. When the first announcement came out, someone came across with 19,000 contracts on one trade. It's like, okay, man, that's not me and you. <laughs> it might, that yeah, might be no. you when you're in the pit, but that certainly yeah. wasn't me, you know. Well, I, hey, listen, I've seen futures, you know, go where no people didn't think they could go, frankly, because sometimes it might, it might be an open interest issue. Right. It, it could be that they're just getting a liquid because of where it is. And of course, now adding to the volatility in these markets is the algorithms. Yes. Oh, big time. Right. Right. And, you know, you know, today's a half trading day. Well, my memory goes back to the last half trading day, which was Christmas Eve. <laughs> and so don't what think this on market Christmas can't Eve? move. That's cool. Did the market do anything yeah. that day? Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> that mommy, right. daddy, mommy, daddy, why is there no Christmas? Yeah, right. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. That's so true, though. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. So... Yeah, the half day. Remember, we used to take it easy on the half day. Now you got to be careful. Yeah, no, that all changed it, Christmas Eve, right? There's no doubt. And you know, folks, that's where you know, we, Kevin show option, option strategies, defined risk. It's so important. You know, like if we back down, you know, 20 years ago, you couldn't do the strategies that you could do today because the, the you know, you're talking about penny wide spreads in the major indices. You know, I mean, yeah. it, it's so amazing, Kevin, when you when you look at the how we were 20 years ago and even today, maybe even what? not then, 10 years ago. I'm just going to add to it. They calculate margin using the multiple products, right? Yes. So factoring in. I sure. mean, there's a number of things, right? Right. Totally. Right. Yeah. That, and think about it. And, and what you're describing, Tom and Tommy, is liquidity. Yes. Right? And wh how we define liquidity is your ability to get in a position and out of, pos of a position for as little slippage as possible. Right. And when you talk about tight markets in deep that is the definition of liquidity. It is. Yeah. And you can see, you know, picture this. I think if we're starting that trading career, I can see that it started there because once you do the numbers, it's like, okay, why, why are you going to go in the equity market, man? I mean, it's like right. that, you know, if you, even on a longer term basis, there's leaps. I mean, there's a million ways you can do this thing, you know? It's pretty wild, man. Well, listen, you have a great fourth, a safe fourth. Of course, we look forward to the program in uh, 45 minutes, Kevin. Thanks for having me on, guys. Have a great holiday. Can't wait to talk to you again. You Holy. too, Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials up 59. Nasdaq up 24. S&P's up 5. Gold up 15.40. Silver up 10 cents. Notes and bonds up 6 ticks the 10-year. 19 ticks the 30. We'll come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $197 a month with the risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 65. Nasdaq's up 28. S&P's are up 6.5. It's just crawling hot air. Right. Uh, canopy. Canopy growth. You know, they had come out with the numbers uh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, bottom line is that uh, we knew, that, well, that they missed their numbers in a huge way. They missed their margins in a huge way. And there goes the CEO. Uh, he is canned this morning. Fired. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so it's, it's a quick one. <laughs> it's and, and this is one of the he was a co-founder. Uh, so uh, chief executive officer Bruce, Bruce Linton, who helped build Canopy Canada's Canopy Growth into the world's most valuable marijuana firm, is leaving the company. Yeah. Um, so they get the co-CEO taken yeah. over as the sole boss of the company as it launches a search for a new leader um, to come in. Yeah, and he's still uh, he owned. I was looking at this uh, earlier when I saw that come across. He. Let's see. Oh, look at this. They, they changed it quick. This is awesome. When they, uh, did a half, yeah. half a, an, uh, well, 45 minutes ago, this wasn't here. Okay. Uh, and, it, yeah, so I can't get a shake yeah. anymore. But. I think we're going to call her over there. Let's go to Kim in Altamont Springs. Hey, Kim, how you doing? Hey, we got Ken. One of them? No. Still there? Yes. Who are we talking to? Uh, Kim Jackson. Hey, Kim. Hi, Kim. How are you? Springs. Thanks for I'm calling, okay, man. Hey, guys. Hey, I got a question about the uh, the TLT with the uh, jobs numbers coming in on Friday. I'm talking uh, about rates. You think you can keep running, or we're about out of gas? Uh, all of my technical indicators are looking really good right now. What do you guys think? Let's take a look. So uh, you get the TLT, which is the iShare 20-year Treasury bond ETF. So what that means specifically, folks, is that everything that's inside of this has a duration of 20 years plus, you know, before it it expires. Uh, this right now is trading 133.98. Decent run recently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, the way this is set up, um, it looks to me like they don't run to the highs. You know, that's that's 133. I mean, that's 142, you know. Yeah, 143.62 is the yeah. high there. Yeah. yeah. Now, I don't think this is going to be a one-way run, uh, Kim, okay? Um, Kim, so yeah, the real, you know, We've had a run. One, well, I, that being said, we've had a one-way run here since 111 uh, okay. in, in yeah. May. 
But yeah, Raves. That was, that was November last year, right? Is that right? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's months. I got a month. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Since last November. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, I mean, depending on how long you want to stay in this thing, you know. What kind of time frame are you looking at, Kim? Uh, I might want to keep buying it every week. I'm buying the uh, the uh, the uh, call options, the the at the money options. I'm buying this Friday. I'm buying the following Friday. I'll buy okay. the following Friday into this thing. So right week long to month long type trade. Sure. Yeah. I, just, I see. Okay. Yeah. Right now, rates want lower price, man. I'd say the trend is your friend. Yeah. On that one. And in a uh, big way too. You know, if you go over, if you go over, if we go, if we go look at this the ten year. You can we can look at the thirty two. It doesn't really matter. Um, you know, it looks to me that this thing here, I'll do it the other way. This thing is running for 1.71. And, you know, if it runs like it ran the last couple of weeks, this this is going to go to 1.38 and break. You know, that's that's all-time lows, 1.38. You know, we're right next to the 1.71, really, you know. What? So what is that, the low of November? Okay, yeah. same deal, right. You know. And it you, would make sense. It correlates to where we're just looking at on the TLT. Right. Yeah. And you break that, and then you know you get the game down as 131. And, it's remarkable. That's only July. So. It, re it really is. Yeah, about a year ago. And the way that the uh, ADP numbers come in, um, and the way that the ISM non-manufacturing came in, you know, I suspect you know that this this number probably is not going to be as big as the market thinks it's going to be. And if that's the case, just when we were talking to Kevin, it's like. Maybe the market will start saying, hey, man, yeah, we're going to have a, even more rate cuts. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's hard to really wrap your head around, in, in, you know, in a way, because rates are going lower. If we, if we go over to Europe, you know, we're looking at these rates in Europe yesterday. You can see France is in a negative now on the 10. Germany's in a negative. Sweden and Netherlands and Switzerland, they've been in one for a long time. But, yeah. you know, that's on the 10. We put this into the 5. You're going to see it lights up, man. How about the two? Can we, <laughs> oh, yeah. Because the two is going to be just as drastic. Yeah. yeah. They're all All negative. right, guys. Thank you very much. I'll, uh, I'll keep my eye on this one. And uh, if it doesn't break down, I'm still in. Hold on for the ride, man. Kim, thanks for all the right. call, man. Have a great fourth. Have a great fourth. All right. Thank you guys very much. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, this... Uh, oh. You I mean, know, just, I got a lot of calls in the afternoon and about, about rates and bonds. Or, yeah, and okay. negative. Like, yes. uh, where is this going? Yeah. It's so hard to comprehend. Like, yeah. okay, so picture that we keep going down, and then if you go to negative, well, how does this end? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like where do where do where do people put their money? Because then you're you're getting penalized for having cash because it costs you money. Right. So what's going to happen? I mean, I don't. You know. Yeah. I'm, I had a lot of people asking that question for sure, man. Yeah. Yeah. Who's got the answer? Right. That's what I want to know. Yeah. Um, 18, like, oh, that's cool. So one of the targets told us he had 18 million shares uh, of stock, the ex-CEO of Canopy. Yeah, so the yeah. guy who just left 18 million shares, yeah. he'll, he'll be okay. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I know it's, he will. But no, he's you know, one of the co-founders. It's, it's not a good day for him, for sure, no, as I, I joke. No. But uh, he will be okay financially. But, you know, once, uh, once you reach a point where you're set for life, there's more than just money. And so I'm sure he starts right. the company. He'll know. start another one. <laughs> yeah, right. You know. I think there's plenty of room in the cannabis sector for more, than, uh, for more companies. Yeah. Yeah. I say that seriously, as in, you know, oh, exploding yeah. sector. This is brand new, man. One and, of uh, And he I, built the biggest one. Yeah, and I had a college professor who once said, would you want to be in the best company in a dying industry or the worst company in a thriving industry? Yeah. You always want to be in the thriving industry because totally. you can make mistakes, anything can happen, it's growing. Yeah. If you're in a good company in an industry that's pulling back, uh, it's just a race to failure, in the, you know, so yeah. that, that industry exploding yeah. for sure that's why i always say you're, we're all geniuses in a bull market right exactly <laughs> exactly you know yeah. it makes up for all the mistakes there's, exactly. no, there's no two ways about that let's go take let's go take a look at tesla actually because you know he came in with numbers man you know bottom line the numbers are there yeah um the let's see quite so a little reprieve from those lows of uh, early june and this looks like it's going to be it's going to be a small ABC up. You know he needs uh, needs 12.7 million shares. We get 7.2. Sorry. So could you bring me along with all you just I just yeah. So here's a B where, point. Okay, that should be. It's I didn't know if that was the C crossing the B. All yeah, right. So that should be it's taking it out. So two, it's taking it out. Okay, it's jumping over that point. I got gotcha. you. So that's 234. The A is uh, 176. 
So you get 34. Like 60 points. points. Yeah. 54. Yeah. 50, 50, 50 58 points. points. Yeah. Um, so that'd be 275, 275, 275 if you're going off that. Yeah. And that's right up here, which, <laughs> which is really just, uh, let's see what kind of retracement that is. Let me, let me just bring this back a little bit more. So that's six months. Oh, look at that. That's, oh, watch this when we do this. It's, it's probably only going to be a 0 0.38 to retracement or something. But. Yeah, not quite even. Oh, move it up a little. Okay. Yeah, so 251 maybe. Is a .3 yeah, and even I think yeah, it should be so even a little bit higher because that bottom's not right. quite. So 252, 253, somewhere so around there. that's still not a big deal. No. You know, no. In the context of where it is. Now, the other side of that is what do we just go up? 60 bucks practically oh, yeah. off of 170. You're talking about a 35% jump, so yep. keep that in check as well. Dow. Dow Industries up 67, NASDAQ up 30, SPs up 7. Market's crawling. Let oh me boy. get a higher price, higher price. I think we might get oil numbers after this. I forgot Wednesday. Oh, good. There we go. Hi, right folks. Back. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 76. NASDAQ up 36. S&P's up 8.5. Crude and oil. We had a draw of a million barrels. I thought that was going... No, what was that? Yeah, I thought it was going to go the other way, right? Yes, because they're supposed to... a draw of 3 million. So let's pull up... Uh... Let's pull up the top lab. I think they're going to have it. Yeah, they were looking for a draw of 3 to 4 million. The draw comes in. Where are we? Crude oil. Here we go. 
So there's your number. Crude inventory is falling 1 million barrels. Gas inventory is falling 1.58. Expectation, uh, there you go. Bloomberg is looking for a drop of four. That should have had, uh, so there's, let me get this right. No, I missed it. I'm, I'm doing it backwards. There's more oil than the market anticipated. So there's going to be cheaper prices, right? So the market did react correctly in terms of that fall. So the market goes from right at 57. We spiked to 56.46. We're sitting at 56.60. Now, I took a quick peek at these. We had what was kind of cool is we're sitting at 57. We had optionability right at 57 for bullish exposure and bearish. If you wanted to get both of these sides of the trade, yeah. so you just trade volatility to get exposure until noon, you were looking at about $50 for both contracts combined, which represents 50 cents of movement you need. We got 50 cents of movement in about three seconds. If you want exposure till 2.30, now interesting here that even though the stock market's closing at one o'clock, right. looks like oil futures, they're gonna be trading until 2.30 as normally. And um, that trade, and you also have $3 of potential movement on either side. That was gonna cost you $38 on each side of the trade or s about 75, so 50 okay. bucks, That's which seven. means 50 cents on the noon, or 75 bucks, which is 75 cents by 2.30. And um, you know, if you made that trade, you have to be pretty excited that you got 50 cents of movement in a heartbeat oh, yeah. coming off those numbers. Especially after a day like yesterday, because yeah. yesterday started off a little bit slow, and then all of a sudden it just got hammered. Man. Sure, yeah. yeah, and so there's all the numbers coming in as in crude. Only a decline of a million barrels. They were thinking you'd see a decline of three, maybe four if you went off the survey number. Right. Gasoline, decline of 1.5. Estimate had been a decline of 2.4, so similar story. More gas than they thought. Um, and breaking that down, but we'll see how that oil market reacts throughout the day. I love it. Yeah. Let's hit a Mark in Fort Collins. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Good, man. Yourself? Hey, Mark. Good. Good. Hey, I just had a question for you. Um, let me turn down my speaker so I don't hear you in the background here. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I know you guys have talked about an ABC up on the SPY. Yes. And I see it on the daily, and I also see it on the weekly, but the weekly projects to a much higher number. Have you looked at that? or I see it on the weekly. No, I don't see it on the weekly. Let's see what you're looking at. Yeah. Oh, the weekly, I've got it going to 335, so I didn't know. Okay, what let's take a that. look. You said th So... Where is the B point on the weekly? All right. Um, so A is at two, the low is at two thirty-three seventy-six. The week at twelve twenty-four. Yeah. B, C. I mean. And the the next point, the uh, yeah, is the, the, the first two ninety-four, right? Two ninety-four ninety-five. Yeah. So week week of four twenty, and had three hundred thirty-one million. Right. Um, and then when we broke it um, on the week of six seventeen, we had four hundred three million. Look at that! Wow. That projects a lot bigger than That's the intense. daily that you were talking yeah. about. Yeah, and it's nice and yeah. fluid, as in no that's... no craziness in between, right, Mark? I mean, that's pretty okay. solid right. in terms of the A to yeah. B, straight line. B to C, straight line. The C to D so far, straight, straight line. line. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so real. I was just wondering if the projection's not 303 or 313 or whatever you guys were talking about. No, the, the 303 is the daily one, but you're right. There's no doubt. And the real, you know, and it is, yeah, you know. What, what happens is that, you know, when, when one's so close, you know, like you get that big volume by the next time, but really you were going downtown then, so. So he's looking after the week right yeah. after the B point there, you Mark. Know, just that the, one big the higher volume the way there. Down. Because what's right. supposed to happen, well, not with the, 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 my definition of an ABC structure is that you got to go up with volume, you're down with light volume, and that's not light volume there. You see how that works? So right. it's heavier volume on the way down, so it's not a true definition of an ABC structure. On the way up, I that is. But that being said, guess what? It's, I'm glad you called, man, because that's a big heads up. There's a lot of factors that go that's, into that, it, there's, right? There's no doubt. And there's I'd say no doubt. the straight line deal is, this is something. It's a big deal. Yeah, I, it's I, a big deal. I like to look at that, yeah, too. There's yeah. no doubt. And what does happen is this. Like, when I pull up any of the indices, but when you really do look at the Dow Industrials, you know, Basil was bringing this up when I was interviewing him yesterday, and it's so true, man. Like when you when you put this out, you know it's like okay, man, you know we've been consolidating here, you know since uh, what January, January of 18. and you know when you consolidate that long uh, and you stay at highs, that's that could be the building cause of another leg up. Sure, you know. Yeah. So we're going to be approaching almost two years at that level. Right. right? We're a year and a half, right? Right. And you know then my head is going to this deal about if rates are going to keep going lower, it would seem to me anything. <laughs> that has any value at all outside of cash, people are going to put their money in. <laughs> because it's like if you have cash, 
you're you know getting penalized. Sure. So it's like, okay, if if you're a stock person, you have cash. I gotta get rid of the cash. I gotta go buy stock. It just charges me for cash, yeah. or I'm not making any money, right? So, you know, where my head's going is like, man, this is this is a different world. You know, if these rates keep going lower, because, you know, that right. cash is going to get used, and there's so much right. of it That's out there. It's probably getting used for some gold right now. Oh, yeah, it is. A, it's, this. It looks like there's a similar projection on the diamonds. It's like a, a 50 point. Uh, up from the low of 6.3, which would put it at 2.97, and it's at 2.68 right now. I'm sure, because uh, that run from that A point, which is basically Christmas Eve up until, right. you know, the, the, the first six months of this year, right. I mean, it's just right. amazing. And then they all got, you know, that quick pullback, and now we're right, right. back up at that B point. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, it's a real deal, man. Yeah. You know, then, yeah. you know. And the Q's haven't, Q's haven't gotten to that broken that point yet but they're close to getting there the question is are they going to have the volume yeah um, and the, i think all is they have to really do too which is really interesting is get away from that point do you yeah, know what i mean right. you get up and over it get away from it and then you got a new territory that's going those cues are dealing with a little bit of a different fundamental factor in terms of they got maybe you know the big powerhouses getting maybe some regulatory concerns you got the chips with some trade concerns oh, yeah. um yeah. so there's a little bit of a different when you get into that nasdaq with some of those high yeah. flyers and there's nothing on the IWM as far as weekly, but the daily looks like it's got an ABC app going on. Yeah, and uh, let's they're everywhere. So, <laughs> on the on the queues, the daily. This is interesting. I mean, you're you're running this 191 right now. So they're going to be this market, man. I think this market's just going to run the rest of today. Wake up Friday, run the heck out of it Friday. We'll see with that payroll number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got it. Oh man. Maybe it goes all the way up into the full moon on uh, the middle, middle to, like, July, July 16th. Yeah, we just had the eclipse yesterday, and then there's another right. one on, I think, July 26th, I think. Um, yeah. That comes in with the full moon, uh, with the, the full moon's 29th, I think. So. Full moon, I thought, was the 16th or 17th. Is it the 16th? Yeah. Okay, so the eclipse is, yeah, later in the month, but. Yeah, um, interesting. You know, there's. The lower that rates keep going, the more that people are going to have to put their money somewhere, you know. Right. And in Europe, who knows what they're doing? I mean, it's like... I'm just going to throw out, though, in theory, rates are only supposed to be going that low if the economy is pulling back, so then people are going to go, why am I going to throw all my money in the stock market if the economy is going to be so I, harsh? So I, I agree I, with you, I but know. then that's the, okay, so then where do you go from there? I, because I, if the rates are so low, right. that means you can't use the money to make money, so that means companies are going to be struggling. If you figure that one out, man, you'll be a millionaire. You know, totally. it's, totally. <laughs> that's, good for that's where we're at. Yeah. There's no doubt, yeah. man. Mark, thanks for the call, man. Have a happy fourth, sure. Mark. Thank you, bye-bye. Stay thanks. right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game.
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Just hit that keyboard because guess what? These markets are going higher. You get the Dow up 109, Nasdaq up 46, S&P's up 12. S&P's going to hit. We might have a 3,000 party coming into yeah. July 4th, man. What do we got? We got the futures at 2991, and we got the cash at 2983. Right. Watch out. And that future number for that uh, daily ABC up is uh, 3,055. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Fed and Reserve. Now, this one's interesting because I didn't see this yesterday when... Uh, so the, the headlines, two names as to who they were. Go yeah, ahead, yeah. Well, I saw the names. Right, the, right. That's what they. The, the uh, one of the um, uh, folks that are put up for the Fed, they're saying is a longtime dove. The other one is a one-time gold bug. Yes, but so, no longer, I believe. Yeah, right. Things right. change quickly under this administration. No, go ahead. <laughs> so after a year-long assault on the Federal Reserve and the chairman. Uh, Trump has tapped two widely different economists to the central bank board who seem wildly different, wildly say. different, who wildly, seemingly yeah. have one important thing in common. They're both likely to support the president's call for lower interest rates. You got uh, Christopher Whaler, Waller, Whaler, Waller, yeah. Waller, yeah. Who, uh, now he is the head of uh, research, I believe, at the St. Louis Fed, right? Okay. And if you go to the St. You know, if you want to do some work, folks, the, the, the St. Louis Fed, their website is so cool. It's unbelievable. That's So out of all the Federal Reserve Banks, the St. Louis Fed has the most research. And I think it's just for so many years. But it's all free. It's it's amazing. I mean, okay. you want to you get buried in some papers and read some great papers? Um, that's where it's at. So I can see that, hey, guess what? He shouldn't have a hard time getting um, confirmed. And then the second person, Judy Shelton, um, She'll probably make it, too. I, don't, I mean, you know, they're saying she's spent decades outside the mainstream, but... Now, why do you say that? She'll probably make it, too. Because the, last, because the last guy... Because I don't know her, number one. Well, that's and, why I'm... Why, okay. And the last couple guys that Trump has nominated, they're, they were both insane. I mean, you know, Moore changes his name... is his, how he Stephen deals Moore, every, yep. you know... And the 999 plan for Mr. Kane was yeah. not going to be public right. policy on day right. one, so you know, I agree so. with you. But only going to the fact that Judy Shelton has spent decades outside mainstream economics and recently appears to have completed a metamorphosis from proponent of returning to the gold standard. Um, so, you know, oh, did, did she maybe realize that she's going to be a Fed governor and 12 months ago decided to change everything? I mean, this is what's going to be talked about when it comes to Senate confirmations. Um, and then you have Waller who's the much more conventional, though, Director of Research, St. Louis Federal Reserve. Right. Um, and so they just kind of go in here, send a confirmation. So you're going to have a process. This is going to take months to play out, just like Stephen Moore, Herman Cain. They were held up for a while. Didn't even begin the process, really. So this is something that takes some time. And so that's why I say, well, why are you thinking that? Because I think we're going to start hearing more and more and more about um, past positions that oh, they yeah. may have held. And I'm very curious to see what comes out from Ms. Shelton if she is a gold standard bug um, because you're going to be hearing about them. And that might present some problems for her. Um, 
<laughs> but it looks like Waller maybe may have a, um, as a high-ranking Fed staffer, Waller may have a better chance of passing muster with lawmakers than some of Trump's previous contenders. As for Shelton, the Senate had already confirmed her in a current role as U.S. Executive Director for the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Now, they may have, but uh, a Fed governor, much more important position than just a director for the European Bank of Reconstruction and Development. Much, much more important. So, it's going to be wild. It seems that no matter which which way it's going here, uh, we get lower rates coming at us. Yeah, as of now. I mean, the market made the right correction, as in if they get in, lower interest rates seem to be uh, a good bet. And if they don't get in, the next person coming down the pipeline, probably a similar avenue from Trump. So Right. Yeah. And so, you know, we're going to close out this uh, 1 o'clock today, folks. So what's that, the third year? Okay. Yeah, this is the third year, and it's over its highs. 156.22. Not bad, Last man. high up here was 156.17. 19 ticks positive for the day. Yeah. And if we take up this generic bond, what you're going to see, this is the continuous contract. Put this back like 15 years. Now you're approaching this, uh, yeah, 159 is the next, next okay. deal. So about three points, though, still yeah. away, 159.16. Right. Yeah. Now, when we get to this point, this is where, I mean, this is coming into some heavy resistance, you know, but we've already eaten through five points of the resistance. The top of that bar, and this is, oh, it's going to be November again. So it's it, it, all Election these, day, baby. It is. That, uh, that's when, you know, rates. Went exponential. That's when everything went berserk. Right. Uh, so we yeah. went from 164 to 151 in the 30 year. Um, it looks like uh, 164 is game well. again. Yeah. That's that's how this is looking, man. Yeah. You know, because you're you you're right. Yeah, you're actually already. Yeah, you're into the bar by oh, five sure. points. Yeah. I mean, the, bar, the low that bar, bar is right. itself is only what 15, 14 points. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the one thing, so that's the election, right? And yeah. I, I keep, you know, we're just talking to Mark, talking about the S&P, man, it could run, right? That A to B straight leg. Right. Um, as we come into this election, I keep bringing it up, there's going to be a lot of volatility, man. And we're already in the election, right? The Democratic primary debates are already there. You're not seeing the market react at all, though, yeah? The market's going to let things play out for a long time. But, man, that election is now only 16 months away. The wow. Je yeah, you're going to have the Democratic candidate, it's 16 months away. The, the full election, right? Now, you, yeah. I, 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 we'll get the dates. You get the Democratic candidate. I mean, yeah. they have a good six, nine months, whatever it is, where they're chosen and they get to run against Trump. So you're going to start seeing the market. No matter what's happening, there's going to be uncertainty, right? right? We can all agree there's going to be some uncertainty sure. as you come right. up to a presidential election, especially this one. Healthcare stocks. Uh, well, that's everything, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, regulations, tax cuts, um, the Fed governors. What if a Democratic president comes in and they are putting Fed governors in that are so hum ho, going to be low rates no matter what? There's going to be a lot of that uncertainty, and the market hates uncertainty. So just be aware as you look for those higher run prices that that's going to be a headwind over the next 16 months, and it's not going to go away until that election is decided. I mean, even if you go back to the election night, November 16, right. when results first started coming in, the market crashed. Right. Now, it really crashed because it was almost uncertain who was going to win. Right. Because it was going to be so close. The moment that the market figured out Trump was going to win, it exploded back to the upside. Right. The biggest concern was that there was going to be uncertainty. You know, that it was going to be a 51, 50, so close there was going to be a recount. Each yeah. person, that was the a nightmare scenario. Well, that's kind of what's going to be happening as you get close to those three months coming up to the election. No one's going to know who's going to win, right? right? And the market's going to try and figure it out. Well, I assume they're just going to price some risk into there. I assume. Trade is You would have thought maybe they'd price some risk in at some point over the last two and a half years, too, and that hasn't happened yet, no. so we'll see. But, yeah. So we take a look at Royal Gold, and this is getting away from its highs, which is great. You know, you're at 103.87. The high that we busted out this week is 100.84. Um, uh, Franco Nevada, FNV. We back over that high yet? Not yet. Okay, that's, 80, that's 86, 86, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah 86.06. Yep. Now, you certainly... Well, hey, we'll see how it's shaking we out. We made it over there yeah. the last week, right? 86, 81. And you had the volume, too, yeah. which yeah. Is, there was good volume last week. So it's going to be a big number, though. Yeah. Um, you know, you got those babies uh, busted out. They're real, and, and you can see what we have now inside the gold market, too, folks, is that the just like yesterday, the surprises are to the upside. You know, so it's like you, we pulled back the day before, but it was light volume, and then all of a sudden it sits there for, you know, five hours and then just takes off topside again. Yeah, there was a $50 surprise to the downside in there, though. 
I'm just. I guess you know, that's quite a surprise. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you're. You had to go back. I know that's going. your take, but there was a, there was there were two surprises there, down and up. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight Dow up ninety three Nasdaq up forty three S and P's up ten and a half. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 94. Nasdaq's up 46. S&Ps are up 11. And, folks, as you come over to our website, at TFNN, if you haven't checked out the Gold Report, great time to do it. You can uh, right under Featured Content to see the Gold Report there. You can get that for one month. You can get it for six months. You can get it for a year, uh, all with a 30-day money-back guarantee. One month is $85. Six months is $395, which is a savings of $115. Are 22 percent, and a year is 6.95, which is save 3.25 or 31 percent. That's right, man. Gold rocking and rolling. That's it's, it's intriguing. Check it's, it out. You gain access. Just so you gain access to all the archives. You can check that over to the fourth. You get the uh, issue you just put out Monday, and then of course you got another issue, weekly issues. And I'm coming up to my 900th issue. You are, man. What'd you just put out? 897. 897. That's crazy, man. We got uh, three more weeks. Issue 900 on that, the way. That is crazy. Gotta man. love it, man. Gotta love it. I'm telling you. And speaking of commodities, one check back on the oil contract. Uh, quite a five-minute bar we had on that news. You dropped from 57 all the way down to 56.19. We're sitting at about 56.48 on a bounce on those oil numbers. Maybe some cheaper gas to go along with cheaper money. Yeah. Low interest rates, cheap gas. What could be better, man? Let's, let's go. <laughs> kind of like cynical, as in, folks, 
gas does not tank, interest rates are not at zero as the market goes to the moon. Okay, that's that's not how things usually work. All right, you know, if 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 factories and everyone's using oil and everybody can make money because they can use money, then interest rates would be higher and oil would be higher, and so. We'll see what happens, but it, I know interesting I, nonetheless, you know, man. It is. Imagine being a professor right now, and if you know, in a financial class. Yeah, it's yeah. it's I mean, you know, there's just pretty tough. So there's so many variables. We all know the variables, but which ones are the most important ones? The market's considering. That's yeah, what you got to What is the market going to pay attention? Yeah, exactly, to? totally. Stay right there, folks. We got fast market coming up next. And then we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, and uh, and then I think we're that's off. With, live till one o'clock with with yeah. the market open. You got it, man. Have right. a great fourth. Everyone, be safe. We have a great one and safe one, folks.